Well, I guess in the next 10 years that, that we will be approaching somewhere around 10% of sustainable fuels and 90% of uh, fossil fuels still, to be mm -hmm. very realistic. Mm -hmm. um, the more important thing for me is, have we identified the silver bullet by then that has the potential to decarbonize the, uh, the, the aviation fuel on a global level? And um, for, for that purpose, what I, what I think will happen right now is we are going to see the first volumes coming from um, used cooking oil, uh, hydro-treated vegetable oils. Right. Um, but it will come to its natural limit somewhere around the 2030s. And then we will see, have other biogenic pathways developed and are there significant volumes at competitive cost? Or have we already moved one step further to the renewable fuels of non-biogenic origin, mm -hmm. for example, power to liquids or solar fuels? So going from solar energy to some sort of hydrogen pathway and then to fuels. Yes. In, in the end, it's always solar. Either the, the solar energy has been stored in biomass or you convert it with photovoltaics right. to um, green electricity and then convert the green electricity together with water and CO2 to power to liquid fuels. Yep. Or you, as Zinhelion presented today, um, yeah, have a thermochemical process that is just driven by solar heat um, to convert CO2 and water into hydrocarbons. Okay. So our job as venture investors then is to find the, those technologies that, is, as you say, are going to be the, the silver bullets of the future. Yes. And perhaps, to be very optimistic, perhaps there's not just one single silver bullet, but a magazine full of bullets right. <laughs> that, that, uh, that we can leverage.